Greetings, friends. I have good news to share with you this morning. Relief is beginning to reach hundreds of thousands of Americans across the country. The distribution of new rebate checks is starting in multiple states. Some households will be eligible for larger rebate checks than other households. The Biden administration is also taking new action to boost housing affordability and availability for low-income Americans. Please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn more about this. Also, on Friday, I will be announcing more winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway, friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. On appropriations. Off the floor, our appropriators continue to make good progress on the appropriations bill. This morning, the Appropriations Committee is marking up the remaining four appropriation bills. It's just like the NDAA. Both sides, Democrats, Republicans, have been real, working really well together. This is never an easy process, but I really want to thank Chair Murray and Vice Chair Collins. They have worked together in a really supremely bipartisan, almost exquisite way for shepherding these bills through committee with bipartisan support, because it ain't easy in this time of divided when the country is so divided. This is a model for how appropriations processes should always work. Both sides coming together, finding common ground, and advancing bills that invest in American families, keep communities safe, drive down our costs, and keep our government open. <clears throat> It's this type of bipartisanship that has prevented any government shutdowns last Congress when Democrats had majorities in the House and Senate. And the American people so certainly don't want to see a shutdown now. So there's a lot of work left to do, but I'm pleased that our appropriators are making progress on these markups, and I thank them again. You look at the NDAA bill, you look at the appropriations bill, you compare the House to the Senate, the contrast, as I said, is glaring. And House Republicans should look to the Senate for how to really get things done and help the American people instead of just shouting partisan screed. More relief is going out to a large number of Americans. This is thanks to state lawmakers allocating leftover crisis relief funds and budget surpluses towards these new relief programs. According to state officials, several round of payments in New Jersey's anchor program are being dispersed to homeowners and renters who applied for property tax relief. Anchor is a property tax relief program which replaced a homestead benefit program. It was introduced by Governor Phil Murphy last year. Governor Murphy has said the program is unique because it extends property tax payments to all eligible renters. Governor Murphy said in a recent statement, at a time when families are facing increasing pressure on their wallets, it's a good feeling to know we are following through on our promise to make New Jersey more affordable. So payments are on the way to New Jersey residents who elected to receive them through direct deposit. More than 800,000 taxpayers are estimated to receive the relief. There are close to 1.7 million New Jersey residents of which 1.25 million are homeowners and more than 514,000 are renters who have applied for relief through this program. Governor Murphy has cited affordability as a priority in his second term. His fiscal year 2024 budget proposal includes $2 billion in spending to continue the program. In addition, more than 280,000 older homeowners, renters, and individuals with disabilities across the state of Pennsylvania will soon be issued rebates totaling nearly $132 million. The rebates will be distributed to eligible Pennsylvanians who submitted an application through the property tax rent rebate program for rebates on rent and property taxes paid in 2022. Secretary of Revenue Pat Brown has said, we also want everyone to know that there is still time to apply for rebates on property taxes and rent paid in 2022. 
If you know of a friend or family member who may be eligible, encourage them to check their eligibility status and file an application prior to the deadline on December 31, 2023. Applicants who submitted their bank account information on their application forms will receive their rebates through direct deposits. Other applicants who requested a paper check to be mailed to them should expect to receive their payment in the mail. Also, friends, the Biden administration has announced further steps to lower housing costs and boost supply. This is part of the economic agenda that President Biden will highlight as he seeks a second term. White House domestic policy advisor Neera Tandon told reporters that the Biden administration is taking a comprehensive federal approach. The newly announced plan will leverage three separate areas towards achieving this goal, which is easing land use. And zoning rules, expanding financing, and promoting the conversion of commercial to residential space. As office space needs have shifted in the aftermath of the crisis, the administration is incentivizing efforts to convert commercial properties to residential homes. Biden's economic advisor has stated our work will involve identifying areas and methods where federal funding, including climate-focused federal resources. Can be used to support these conversions, to address restrictive land use and zoning policies, including those that prohibit multifamily housing development, among other issues. The administration is looking to incentivize municipalities to lift some of those restrictions. Additionally, the Department of Housing and Urban Development is announcing a new program, which is called the Pathways to Removing Obstacles to Housing Program. This program will provide communities with $85 million in funding to identify and remove barriers to affordable housing production and preservation. On financing, the administration is rolling out a $27 billion fund via the Environmental Protection Agency for energy efficient and climate resilient housing. There are also new underwriting guidelines for Federal Housing Administration, which is to streamline. Other low-income financing programs and increased financing for on-site housing units. Well, my beautiful and my most amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Sunday. Dear friends, thank you so much for being here every day and for being part of this community. This coming Friday, I will be announcing more winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway of seventy-five dollars. Please make sure that you enter these weekly giveaways, friends, by clicking and liking several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you, and have a wonderful and very blessed weekend.